Hello everybody, welcome to the channel my friends, Lightworkers Together. This is Val, I hope you all are doing wonderful. Thank you to everybody for your beautiful, positive feedback and your comments, they are truly always appreciated. If there is ever a topic that you want covered or you're interested in, please just drop a comment um, and we'll see if we can't cover that for you. So today's topic is accepting others' choices and are you a fixer? So just a quick disclaimer for my channel, all of the videos that I do are, they are all from my own, perf excuse me, my own personal experiences um, from my own base of knowledge and information that I have gleaned and gathered over time. So this one specifically about accepting others choices and are you a fixer is a very, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? This is something that's been a thing, a big thing for me for quite some time. Um, I'm an Aquarius sun and also Aquarius meaning uh, Venus. I have a lot of Aquarius in my chart and as the humanitarian sign like many others I am always tending to want to take care of others and fix things and sometimes this is not what we should be doing. There's nothing wrong with having your heart in the right place you know but sometimes even with the best of intentions we can make things worse or cause more problems so what it boils down to you all and this is going to be a short video it's about respecting others choices and respecting others power to make their own choice and to kind of steer the ship um, there's a lady down the street who puts up these beautiful positive messages. She has like a chalkboard out front and I've taken some pictures and I put them up on the channel and I am going to use one of these. Um, and I'm kind of paraphrasing here, but you'll get to see it. It'll be on the, it'll be the front clip, the thumbnail, but the message was something like you can't control how the wind blows, but you can set your sail. Like you can control your, your, this, the actual sail itself to kind of, it's like there are things that are beyond our control always, but we can kind of tuck the sail in and try and go in the right direction, right? For ourselves and for others, but mainly for ourselves. So, <laughs> and as an emotional, a very, you know, I have a lot of water in my chart, Pisces, a lot of Pisces cancer and stuff. So I am in an emotional individual. I am a healer. And so my, it's just like my normal set point is to try and help heal, try and help fix things. And I know a lot of you resonate with this because I see it from the comments that you leave. You're a very similar type. A lot of us are just in a place where we are trying to be loving and kind and helpful. And especially, especially when it's, you know, those nearest and dearest to you, family members and such. Um, like one time my daughter literally told me she, she had some stuff that was going on in her life and she was pouring it out. And of course, what to her mama do? The very first thing is, you know, my mind is running through, okay, here's a bunch of solutions. You know, this is what we can do. Yada, yada, yada. And she just said to me, mama, I don't need you to fix this. I just need you to hear me and to like kind of comfort me. And I am going to find the solution and I'm going to fix it and that was kind of an eye-opener and some other things that have happened lately where there there are times we really do have to step back and let folks walk their own path you all and let them make their own decisions steer their own ship um, and like I said even when you know our heart is in the absolute right place you know it's in the best place it can be you know you're just wanting to love on these folks and and help them and make things better for them but what I learned is it's it's just not always our place to do so there are times where we are guided right to give advice or to help in in one way or another but when that's like your normal set point and many of you will know what I'm talking about with this because you're just the same way 
Um, we just tend to do that. We just tend to, you know, if anybody that we know has a problem, we're like, how can we fix this? Sometimes it's even a stranger, you know, you might meet out in the store or something and, and you're just like, okay, how can I, how can I help make this right? And there are times where that is the right thing to do. But there are many times where we need to stop, step back and listen to what our higher self is telling us, listen to our intuition and listen to the other individual. Like with my daughter who was clearly telling me, I don't need you to fix this. I can do that. Um, and that's come up some other times for me in situations like I know there are others who have anybody that you have an energetic tie to. If you are empathic, if you are sort of just made and geared in that direction, you are going to want to try and help <laughs> anybody that you are attached to in any way. Usually you're going to want to try and help fix things just sort of, um, we put ourselves in positions that we should not be in. It's not our job. And in doing so, we often take on burdens, you all, that are not ours to take on. And this is the lesson, you know, that, that really had to be brought home to me because even though I did a lot of work on trying to kind of separate myself from, you know, things that were not for my highest good, when, when there's something that is such a natural part of who you are, you know, how you operate in the world, it's you don't even know you're doing it a lot of the times and so my angels kind of had to call me on it you know several times and they were like one this is not your burden to carry two you are without realizing it attempting to take this individual's power away by trying to fix or change something that you think will be for the better for them and that's that may not be their path. You know, they, everyone has to, we all have to make our own choices, right? And go down our path. And there's nothing whatsoever wrong with getting advice from others and, or even being helpful to others when they ask for it. And that's the key in this, in accepting others' choices and trying not to be that fixer of everything. It's like if someone comes to us and says, I have this problem, can you help me with it? Then that's good. But even in that instance, we should only really be giving options or advice or if they, or if someone literally comes to you and says, you know, I need help doing this, can you show me how or whatever, then yes, of course, by all means. But for those of us that are naturally geared that way, we have to take a lot of extra time to kind of monitor ourselves when any situation comes up. And for anybody that's kind of looked at any or watched any of the um, All Signs August readings that I just posted, I was talking one about how it's just been like chaos raining down <laughs> lately. And of course, my instinct is to, you know, even though I'm involved in the chaos, it's affecting my life. Um, my, my instinct is still <laughs> actually to just help everybody else who is also experiencing it in any way that I can. And I'm, I'm having to work on, it is definitely a lesson for me and I'm learning it step away and unless someone actually asks for your help you know you can offer comfort and you know empathy and compassion and all of those things but we need to not you know get our hands in the pie there unless you know that's their pie not ours is what it, the analogy is you know basically it's their pie they need to bake it the way it needs you know that they want to bake it and we have our own pie that we need to concern ourselves with because sometimes when we're trying to help everybody else, you know, our own pies in the oven burning. So, <laughs> so it's kind of accepting others' choices and trying not to be too much of a fixer is a lesson in, I don't want to say minding our own business because, you know, we are all one in this world. We are all connected and, and heaven help us. It's not a bad thing to be loving and kind and want to help others but we just have to be mindful not to overstep thank you angels not to overstep guys you know what i mean to to have as much 
trust and faith in others um, as we have in ourselves, right? To be in that place where just like when we kind of go to ourselves and we trust ourselves to make the right choices, right? To find those solutions. Even if, you know, we go to other people ourselves, all obviously, to get advice or to get assistance with things, we have to have that same trust in, and faith um, in everybody else as well and respect their choices and their decisions and not kind of, um, we don't need to fix everything. We don't need to kind of put ourselves in other people's lives or try to take burdens off of others, especially when we are not asked to do so. So everybody kind of, it's a funny thing of, in a way, like staying in your lane while at the same time still being connected to everybody and trying to do your best. And it's a really new thing for me to like pull back and not just like try and rush in to, to help to fix things, to kind of give the other individual or individuals, whoever they are, an opportunity to, you know, say to me, you know, can you help me? Or if I say to them, I would always say, okay, you know, oh, you know, whatever the situation is, I'm sorry to hear that, you know, can I help you? Is there anything I can do? What do you need type of thing? And then I need to, you know, the angels kind of told me, leave it there. Leave it there and trust that if that other individual or individuals wants or need your help, they're going to reach out because you have put the energy out there to them that, that it is available. But not to just keep pressing or to jump in and say, okay, this is what they said their problem is. Let's say if it's, you know, a car broke down. Okay, so let me go call all these shops and let me do this and see if I can get this in for them and da, 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 da. It's well intentioned, but it's it's not the right thing to do, guys. So, and this is a lesson that I have had to learn myself um, the really hard way. Um, and it's an everyday thing. I'm not going to lie for me. It's an everyday thing that is things. And I feel, I almost feel like part of all the chaos that's been raining down within my fam, for myself and my family members lately, like within literally like the last week or two, is like a huge test of, can I take my hands off the wheel and let everybody do their thing? You know, offer to be there, which I do, and I'm, and I'm helping where the individuals are saying to me, yes, can you help me with this? And vice versa, when I go to them and say, can you help me with this? They're helping me. So that's kind of the beautiful give and take of the energy that we want in this, is accepting others' choices. Don't, don't feel like you have to fix everything and don't do it just put an offer out there and then leave it and trust and have faith in the other individuals like you do in yourself. All right, y'all. So <laughs> that's kind of it. I'm going to leave this one here. Um, good luck to everybody. If you're going through um, a similar thing on your journey, I know it's really, really difficult, but it is for all of our highest good. It really, really is. And it empowers everyone. It empowers all of us. Um, to allow one another to walk that path and make those choices um, and find solutions and things as they're ready to and then to to extend help and to receive help when it's asked for right all right my friends have a wonderful wonderful day like I said if there's I do have a list of some topics that were kind of voted on earlier in a video that I did and I am still running through those so but feel free anytime to drop a comment and let me know about other topics you might like to hear about and in the meantime, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm sending you all love, peace, and unity. Please stay safe, stay well, and keep shining. Bye-bye.